Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. On this channel, we try to learn various concepts related to science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the SQL 50 Crack SQL Interview in 50 Question Series, where we are trying to learn hands on SQL using 50 carefully curated questions covering diverse aspects of SQL. So, we are already done with the select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, as well as subqueries. We are currently working on advanced string functions, rejection clauses, and in this video, we are going to solve this question called second highest salary and try to learn from it. So, yeah, let's jump right in. Okay, so this is the 47 video of this series called second highest salary and if i look at the companies this question has been asked in so adobe amazon microsoft accenture google apple mckinsey or records right right so a lot of companies have asked this a number of times a very important question let's look at the question so we are given a table called employee with two different columns id and salary id being the primary key that is column with unique values for this table each row of this table contains information about the salary of an employee we are asked to write a solution to find the second highest salary from the employee table if there is no second highest salary return null that and none in pandas so let's look at the example here right so what is the second highest salary in this 200 right and we have that in our output but in this example too this since there is only one salary right so there is no second highest salary so the output should be null right okay so the first thing that we can do is to solve this question is we can arrange the salary in descending order right so what we can do is from this table called employee if i go ahead and do order by the salary column in decreasing manner right and let me return everything right so let me return select star just this is just for demonstration purposes but let's see what do we get in our output so here if you see our salary is arranged in descending manner now i want the second highest salary if the question would have asked what is the highest salary then you can simply do limit one and that is going to give you the first highest salary right but once you want the second highest salary so if you can offset the value by one what does offset mean that is you skip the first one and whatever you get in the second that will become your second highest salary right so what i mean by that is if you wanted to have the first highest salary right so if you just wanted the first highest salary you would simply do limit one right and if i go ahead and run this this would give you the highest salary which was 300 in that case right but if you wanted the second highest salary what you can do is you can keep limit one but hey, be just before this, you want to offset it by one. So you can write one comma one. So this will, you know, skip the first row and then for the second row, it will keep the only row, right? So here you will be seeing salary is equal to 200, right? So this is now your second highest salary. Okay. But there is still one problem here in one of the example, let's say there was two rows with the same salary so let's say there is another row called id equal to 2 and salary is equal to 100 now if you order by salary in decreasing manner there would be two rows 100 and 100 and even if you offset by one and keep the second highest salary that is going to return you 100 but just think about it actually 100 is not the second highest salary in that case as well so instead of that you need to return distinct salary right so firstly you return the distinct salary and then you offset by one okay so let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output here we are being returned a empty string but in our output we should have a null so we learned about this in the earlier in the series that when such cases arises either you can use the max function or you can use the select function so if you you know if you put this entire thing into parentheses right if you put this entire thing into parentheses and just simply write return this thing and this should be aliased as whatever is required in our output right so the second highest salary so as second highest salary right let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay so in both of these cases now this is accepted right our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so you say this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it not a very difficult question but what we had to do was you know we use the concept of offset for the first time right so what does offset do it will basically you know skip the number of rows that you want to offset right so if you offset by one so it will go to this row right and then try to calculate stuff and then why did we do distinct salary to keep in check when there would be repetitions as well right okay so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video